the starter set I've got here of the Jet Provost T4. They now, uh, review. I know there's been many done of the three kits that I'm just about to review, but I'm going to be building these very straight away. So, let's go on with the review. Right, you've got four paints, a brush, and some poly glue in the starter set. On the back of the box, you've got the, the paint scheme. This is in red. Now, they've given you gloss red here uh, for the uh, model itself. It may work, it probably doesn't actually, so I might go back to my old way of doing things and that's using matte red with a clear gloss varnish over the top afterwards. Uh, so let's open it up. Right, in the box we have instructions, bag of parts and that's it. Right, let's have a look at the instructions first. And we've got some decals here as well. Have a look at those in a minute. Right. Right. First page we've got a brief history of the jet itself. It's, I believe it's the second well, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, it's one of the early jet fighter slash trainers of the RAF. There was a T3 before it, which was basically a two-seater side-by-side trainer as well. Um, in here we have basically a semi instruction guide here. Safety notes on this page, and then we get to the actual instructions. Um, there's a little bit more involved with the seat. Um, if you want the pilot in, um, you don't put part AD1 in. Uh, or that section there, you do not put that in at all so you can put the pilot in. Um, if you're, I don't know, we'll check that, I'll check that out. Uh, oh yeah, times two, yeah, so, so you do that twice uh, for the two seats. So you can have both pilot and trainee in here as well. Um, the basic cockpit I'm looking at it's 33, 33, 33. It's all matte black, basically. So uh, you can either I would I would actually paint this part of the cockpit first, um, put this together, paint this all in situ here, then put the seats in afterwards, uh, paint them and then put them in afterwards. Uh, that would be the best way of doing it. Uh, there is an instrument panel. You could put that in as well and paint that at the same time. There's a decal sheet to go on it afterwards. Uh, so make sure you put that on before putting the two halves of fuselage together. Again, the two halves of fuselage, black interior. Um, and you two... 0.5 grams of weight in the nose so it doesn't sit on its tail because it's a trike undercarriage on this particular one. Um, I would fill that up with th at least three grams in here. Um, sometimes they're a bit stingy with their weights on Airfix. Uh, a lot of models are actually, a lot of model manufacturers are. They put the minimum amount of weight they can in there and sometimes it's just on the balance point so you can touch the, fit, uh, the tail fin and it will drop onto its tail fin and stay there or it will just drop onto the nose and stay there. Put a little bit extra in there that means that when you push the tail fin down it will go back onto its trike undercarriage rather than staying sitting on its tail. <coughs> right, uh, putting the fuselage parts together do a dry fit run first without the cockpit in Make sure everything lines up. 
uh, there's no lumps or bumps in there holding the uh, fuselage apart. I know this is a pretty new um, moulding of uh, the kit, uh, as a, but I would check it anyway. Always check first. Then you put the cockpit in and check it again. See if there's any lumps or bumps on the cockpit that's, that's stopping the two halves going together properly. Uh, again, a tail plane going on. Uh, there's a little tail uh, nose cone, um, tail cone to go on. Sorry, not nose cone. And the rudder. Um, where's the box? Let me just have a quick look at the box here. Yeah, that's, that's all right. You just put, put the rudder on. Uh, you would be able to position the rudder, I believe. Looks like you can. Um, if it's on the ground, you can just display the rudder, you know, just tilt it one side or the other, give it that bit extra um, difference from other models. Um, there are some holes to drill out here for the stand, if you're using the stand. Um, if you're using an in-flight, um, what I suggest actually using the tail pipe drilling the hole through the tailpipe putting your rod in there and have it coming out the back and into the base you can actually use clear plastic for this to uh, clear plastic rod so that you don't actually notice it too much uh, also you can paint it a little bit of uh, pale blue on it like it's the uh, pale blue uh, orange and yellow on it so it looks like there's the jet exhaust coming out the back of it uh, Nothing else I can see that's there's no w other holes to open up in the wings or anything like that. Should be straightforward fit and check all your joints, make sure they're, they're, they're nice and tight. Uh, if you do get a bit of a gap, especially around these uh, jet intakes, sometimes you'll get a bit of a gap around the outside. Have a look at it. Have a look at the, the real thing. It might be a panel line in there. If it is a wide gap, really you need to get to fill it or make sure that it's actually fitting in the right place. There might be another little lump stopping it going back properly. You don't need much of a panel line in the 70 second scale. Um, again here we've got a closed and open. Uh, oh. Oh, is this a little door? So it closes after its uh, landing gears down. Oh, that's nice. Um, right, if you're going to have, you can put this part in anyway. There's two parts: there's, uh, A16 for the gear down, and A17 for the gear up. If you have the gear down, put the A17 on there, but do not, you, do not put the wheels on. You glue them together, sand all the edges, make sure there's no mould line mound it in. You can paint it as well, but leave that off until the last assembly uh, be much easier to do that way uh, same with the undercarriage doors uh, if you've got the wheels down leave those off until later um, to the final final finish of it uh, popping them all together same with the undercarriage and there are some small parts here let me just have a quick look at the box I know on another one we've got, uh, where are they, there, 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 I think you'll be fine with that, all the little other parts you can pop on here as well, all the little air wheels and that, you can go put those on, there's no interference with the transfers, if you get another kit and you've got a load of stuff on the bottom of the wings and you've got a big transfer to go across the wings, leave the small stuff up to the last, and then you can, after you put the decals on and give them a coat of varnish over the top or whatever you like to seal them in with, just poke the holes in the transfer and then stick the uh, little air wheels in over the top of the transfers. It's much easier than trying to go round them before, uh, round them if you put them in before you put the transfers on. Sorry about that, I'm going a bit long winded. Um, Again, the windscreen, um, windshield, I think again, make sure that's popped on there. I'm just going to have a quick look at the box again and just see 
it doesn't show any black in the inside again fix it with PVA glue that's what I usually use uh, I've seen people use Yuhu and that sort of thing it that's fine but it's a bit stringy white wood glue it dries clear anyway you can use crystal clear um, Microsoft crystal clear um, product and stick the canopy in with that that really does fix it down firmly but if you ever need to take it off you can quite easily right uh, you can have the canopy open or closed on this um, it depends how much detail you put inside um, putting the seat belts on you know um, brightening up the inside black cockpit um, chairs I said they're mainly black if you're not putting the pilots in the seats um, cushions will be coloured so um, and put an extra bit of brightness in there you can put some on the lever knobs on the levers paint those up different colours uh, but we'll have to have a look and see what's happening uh, but put all these on together again dry fit them on make sure they fit before putting the glue on them uh, and that's it for the for the instructions let me fold those up and I'll put that back in the box now I've got a bag of bits uh, there is another bag inside here with clear parts in it I can see that I'm not going to take the clear parts out of their bag. I'm just saying I'm going to have a quick look through. There's no scratches, no spider marks on them. They look fine. They look absolutely fine. So leave them in the bag closed up because we won't need them for a while. Right, for the grey plastic parts, there are three sprues of grey plastic all right uh, let's start with the top wings here having a look at the top wings um, nice recessed panel lining on this it'll take a wash nicely uh, if you're hand painting it you're probably gonna lose a lot of that detail in there so um, I'll be re I will be spraying this because it's the best way I find of doing something you can use um, car spray but make sure you get a decent can of it uh, you know pay for the pay for a decent decent uh, can on uh, your car spray stuff uh, the better quality ones and then you get a much finer spray out of it like dustings not too heavy and you'll be fine with this now the same with the fuselage here we've got uh, some nice panel lining in here and that I don't know about rivets if you want to put rivets in it uh, you'll have to get some scale drawings to see if there's any rivet detail on the jet itself so I would just check that out uh, there's some cockpit detail on on the floor and the back back of the seats uh, there's some nice ribbing detail on the rudder there. Uh, everything looks really nice. There's no flash on this at all. Uh, should go together with no problems. Uh, there's no pin marks in the cockpit section, so that's nice. I hate that, trying to go around all the inside detail, trying to get the pin marks out. <laughs> or filling them up. They've if there were depression uh, excuse me I'll just uh, quick look there no nope, that's fine wings top wings are fine uh, tailplane again nice detail on it there are two pilots in here um, not too bad might need a magnifying glass to actually paint them uh, but you should be able to get them painted up nicely again some nice raised details on the bottom wing and uh, 
recessed panel lining on it as well so really nice uh, not too complicated it looks like there's a lot of small pizzas on here there are but not too many and they're quite thick on on the uh, they put the thick piece onto the sprue rather than the thin piece as I've seen before I think the manufacturers make mistakes like that <laughs> Worthwhile getting? Yes, definitely. Um, one to have in your collection. Remember, if you're going to do it and you're spraying it, do it with a matte, matte paint and then go over with a gloss after the t afterwards. Uh, so, that's a Jet Provost. It's a uh, number, number, number. I forgot to say the number, didn't I? Number, number. Where's the number on this one? <laughs> Oh well, it's a starter set. <laughs> oh, there it is, A55116 is the uh, airfix number. The details, which I completely forgot about, I am so sorry. Oh, where's my head been today? The decals are Cardograph, typical for the new lot of um, airfix, nice and thin. Uh, I believe there's they're all here um, very nice clear you can read them actually so that's good anyway that's the decals there not too many on the sheet uh, so very sparsely uh, decaled on this 